You know, Kleenex, the paper product company famous for its tissue paper, did a study and found that three out of four Singaporeans bring their phone with them, even when they do their dirty business. So what happens to your phone when you just can't leave it alone? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you that, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. This is Sunny, a microbiologist. She will be testing for the presence of some common bacteria. Ew! Not exactly the stuff I want to see living on my phone. Sunny, how are we going to test these phones? Okay, first I will swap the fronts of the phone with the swap sticks and the backs of the phones and also the home button uh, of the phones. Then I will inoculate the swaps on the plates. From all these places you always contact. So they will got more bacteria count on that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And it still <laughs> sounds so nasty. Oh, and, and where does this stuff come from? When you're in contact with other things, then when you touch your phone, the things will transfer from your hands to your phones. It's also from the air. Mm. So when you put your phones on the tables and the air will like settle down right. on your phones, and the bacteria also can stick on your phones. So what does this nasty stuff do to me? They may cause some minor skin infections to you, like something like pimples, uh, or something like skin infections to you if you like using your phones on your face. But sometimes they also can lead to very serious disease, example like pneumonia and meningitis. But all this only occur when the person is, uh, their immune system is very weak. So cell phones, it's a really huge way that you know people can spread disease, yeah, bacteria. Yeah, and... Exactly. From here you can see how all these three phones all have the bacteria. So we can conclude by saying that mobile device is really a good thing for them to transmit the disease.